Gold, just the word, evokes a sense of wonder. For millennia, this precious metal has captivated humankind. Its warm glow, its resistance to tarnish, its sheer density, these qualities have made it a symbol of power, purity and prosperity across cultures. Today, we embark on a journey to unlock one of gold's ancient secrets, transforming it from solid to liquid and back again. Gold's story is intertwined with our own. From the gold rush pioneers to skilled artisans, the desire to work with gold is a testament to its enduring appeal. But unlike the stars in the cosmos, melting gold is a process we can do here on Earth, in our own homes, with the right knowledge and tools. It's a journey of transformation, a dance with intense heat and molten metal, culminating in the creation of something beautiful and enduring. Whether you dream of crafting your own ingots or fashioning unique jewelry, the process of melting gold is an adventure in itself. It allows us to connect with the long lineage of goldsmiths and craftspeople who have shaped this precious metal for centuries. So, let's gather our tools and embark on this exciting journey together. Before we begin our foray into the world of molten gold, it's crucial to assemble the necessary tools. Fear not, you won't need a laboratory's worth of equipment. The beauty of this process lies in its simplicity. First and foremost, you'll need a crucible. This container, often made of graphite or clay, is specially designed to withstand the intense heat required to melt gold. Think of it as a miniature cauldron for your precious metal. Next, a heat source is essential. A propane or butane torch will suffice for smaller quantities of gold for larger melts. A foundry furnace offers greater control and efficiency. Safety is paramount, so protective gear is non-negotiable. Heat-resistant gloves, safety glasses, and a fire-resistant apron are indispensable for protecting yourself from burns and splashes of molten metal. Finally, you'll need molds to shape your molten gold. These can be as simple as pre-made ingot molds, or as intricate as custom-designed casts for jewellery. With these tools at your disposal, you're well equipped to embark on the exciting journey of melting gold. With our tools assembled, safety remains our top priority. Remember, we're dealing with extreme heat capable of reaching over 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit. A safe working environment is paramount. Choose a well-ventilated area, preferably outdoors or under a fume hood, to avoid inhaling any fumes. Before you begin, ensure your work surface is heat resistant. A concrete block or a specialized fire brick will protect your workbench from the intense heat. Keep a fire extinguisher nearby and familiarize yourself with its operation. Next, don your safety gear. Your heat-resistant gloves, safety glasses and apron are your first line of defense against accidental burns. Never attempt to handle molten gold without proper protection. With safety measures in place, prepare your crucible. A new crucible might require a preheating step to burn off any residual moisture or contaminants. This involves slowly heating the crucible until it glows faintly red then allowing it to cool completely. Once your crucible is ready, you can proceed to the melting process. Section four, the melting process, from solid to liquid gold. Now, the moment we've been waiting for, transforming solid gold into its molten form. Place your gold pieces inside the crucible, ensuring they're nestled at the bottom. Begin heating the crucible slowly and evenly, using a circular motion with your torch, or adjusting the furnace settings gradually. As the gold heats up, you'll notice it start to glow red. The edges might soften and lose their shape. This is a good sign that the melting process has begun. As the heat intensifies, the solid gold will gradually liquefy, resembling a pool of shimmering molten light. Resist the urge to rush the process. Heating the gold too quickly can cause it to splatter or oxidize, affecting its purity. Patience is key. Observe the molten gold carefully. It should be completely liquid with a mirror-like surface, free from any solid pieces or cloudiness. Once the gold reaches this stage, it's ready to be poured. 